they look like odd shaped grave sites, right? But they're not. It's digging holes. He's in his happy place. Let me watch and see if y'all see it. Welcome to It's Our Small Farm Live. We hope you enjoy our new series. We bought the farm. <laughs> doors aren't all shut. Can't imagine why. So really on the days that I have help, I just kind of carry things. Pull things. Just moral support. Tomorrow when I'm here by myself, then I'm going to do real jobs. Oh, I know. That's the jinkiest stepladder ever. Yep, just a shade. Oh, true. Oh, I'm gonna get sawdust. Hey, at least I have a janky step ladder here. We need to bring something out a little sturdier. I probably told you wrong. I bet your blade wasn't deep enough. That was on me. This is the craziest freaking wood. So now we can start our septic stuff. I'm not going to put the guy on camera because that's not fair. Nobody wants to come and just be on camera, but he's over there. I'm pretending to be the house. So I pull out onto the road and the neighbor pulls out at the same time. I had another mother by the thing. And he's got a whole bunch of cows. And I see a big, a dead baby. And I was like, oh, yeah. I stalk him to the gas station. And so I just pull over to my car and I just like stop and talk to him. And I was like, oh, hey, what can I buy in a place next door to you? And oh, by the way, I had a dead cat. And until I told him about the dead cat, he was super standoffish and was like, I don't want any grumpy neighbors, blah, 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 blah. I don't want any city folk living next to me because, you know. So the reason that I tell you that story is to tell you this story driving home last night and I was like, oh crap, a cow died giving birth to a calf right over here. And how do I stop and tell him? Because I didn't get his name and his like info. And his gate's locked. 
I don't know how to get up. I mean, it's a long drive up to his house. So. I feel really bad because I have to die with another cow die. No, I'm not digging grapes for my, my neighbor's cows that keep dying. These are the test holes for the septic. shaped at grave sites, right? But they're not for the septic. Say some final last words, honey. Paying your respects. I'll leave them be for a minute. I got things to do. Places to go. Pizza to eat. There's one more thing I just shake my head at and go, huh. See it? Don't know. Today was more super weird things. This is a lovely find for the day. So apparently there was a casualty here. Apparently there used to be a water line. I mean a sand pipe. So apparently we're gonna go try and find it. it won't spew. There's no water on it. water lines. Always tough to find when you're not the one that put them in. Never guess which way they come from. Never guess which way they go. How deep they are. It's like this cute little baby machine, right? And we wanted a bigger one to rent. You can't rent them. I mean, they are all rented for months and months. Still nothing. I oh, know, it stinks like a sieve. Or it stinks like a gassy cow. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but it's a stinky thing. Peter would be all over us, or whoever those climate people would. Okay. Yep, it's stinking again. Okay, it's right there. Look at that, found it. It took almost an hour to find a two inch water line. I think we're gonna fill it right back in. <laughs> so he gets to drive that, he gets to drive that, I get to drive that. by awesomeness. Look at 
Yeah, it's seriously good as new. Took an hour to find it and five minutes to bury it. I swear, if there's no water that came out of that and we did all this work, 